Just want to move on to another matter. Um, Secretary, I couldn't help but notice that there was a change recently in the photographs of senior departmental officials on the Home Affairs website. Are you familiar with that change? Uh, I, I think I am, Senator, if it's the one that I think you're referring to. Mm. Um, well, why don't you describe what the change was, if you're familiar with it? So, Senator, some time ago, I asked my staff to um, redo the photographs of the senior executive uh, without flags in the background. Is that the change you're referring to? Yes, yes. So, sometime between July and August, uh, we noticed that the headshots of yourself and other senior officials in the department previously had the Australian national flag as well as the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander flags in the headshot. And then after that period, they're no longer in the headshot. What was the reason for removing the flags from the headshots? Senator, um, I wanted to um, have uh, photos that were less formal. Right. Um, as far as I can tell, the, the photos themselves haven't changed. It's the same photos. The only thing that's changed is the flags have been removed. How does removing the flags assist with informal photos and what's the purpose of having informal photos on the department's website? Uh, Senator, um, I think having photographs against a background of flags gives a certain formality to the photo. Mm -hmm. um, as you know, as part of our uh, cultural reform, I've been working hard to make sure that um, the senior executive are very accessible to staff. Um, it was one small change that I thought might assist with that program. The Department of Home Affairs, among other things, administers the citizenship test. Uh, if I'm right in recalling, I believe there are questions on the citizenship test about the Australian national flag and other flags. Is that right? I believe that's right, Senator. I don't have the details with me. Yeah. It, it, the department, more than any other department, of the Commonwealth is responsible for making sure new citizens understand the importance of our national symbols, uh, are educated about uh, our history, uh, our, our national symbols. What, why, why is the department uncomfortable appearing in photographs with the Australian national flag and other flags? Not at all uncomfortable, Senator. I've explained the rationale between me removing them. Right. Um, it, it doesn't look to me like new photographs were taken. Presumably, you've assigned someone to Photoshop and remove these flags from the backdrop of the existing photos, is that right? I don't know how it was technically done, Senator. OK, well, you obviously issued the instructions for it to happen. Uh, what did your staff tell you when they said they would go and... They obviously didn't tell you, well, you need to get a sit-down for a new photo, so how did they tell you they were going to do so? They didn't, Senator. Right. Um, so it doesn't... You haven't wondered, you know, how many of your staff have spent time on photoshopping these? No, Senator. Which function of the department performed the task? Uh, I'd have to ask um, Ms Sharp if she could help me with that, but we have an area, Senator, which um, maintains our website and does sort of external facing media. If Ms Sharp could assist, that'd be great. And for the assistance of the committee, I might table the before and after photos. Thank you. Thank you. Ms Sharp, could you shed light on who was assigned to this task of removing the flag from the headshots? Senator Sophie Sharp, Deputy Secretary Executive. It's our media and communications area, <laughs> Senator. Yep. Are you familiar with how they removed the flag? Did they use Photoshop or some other service? Uh, not the technical detail, no, Senator. No, but but um, presumably they digitally altered the photos because new photos weren't taken? Uh, presumably, yes. How long did it take to complete the task? Senator, we'd have to take that on notice. Yeah. Um, did you have any conversation with the minister, either the previous minister or the new minister, about this issue? No, I didn't, Senator. And what about the minister's staff? No, Senator. No, so just this is a spontaneous initiative of your own to remove the flags? It is indeed, Senator. In July and August, the department was dealing with some pretty big issues, it continues to deal with some big issues, whether it's the released cohort of uh, non-citizen offenders or whether it was uh, Palestinian visas or uh, boats getting through to the Australian mainland. Was this really a high priority for the department at a time like that? So, Senator, in terms of um, 
executive focus, it occupied very little time. Um, and whilst I'll have to take on notice how big the technical job was, I'm struggling to believe it was much work. Mm -hmm. I think it's an interesting demonstration of priorities that taking the flag off the headshots on the website was a priority for you in the department at a time when you know, the department was failing to refer uh, AAT cases uh, to the minister. Uh, you had to surge extra resources to a part of the department to make sure that that happened after going for hundreds, if not thousands of days in some instances of failing to refer cases. This is really the priority for the Department of Home and Affairs at a time like this? Senator, as I said, it was a, um, a very small issue which took very little of my time and effort. I have no concerns about my capacity to focus on the big issues facing the department and do that. On previous occasions where I've questioned you on the performance of the department on things like the AAT referrals issue, you've said that uh, resources is a factor, that you're very constrained. Uh, and yet again, th this is the priority that you've assigned uh, employees of the department. There's nothing better that they could be doing with their time rather than photoshopping the flags out of headshots? So, Senator, I think the, uh, the folks who assisted with taking flags out of the photographs um, clearly would not have been able to assist us with AAT referrals. Um, as you note, <clears throat> we have surged a considerable number of resources and we're looking forward to talking to you about our progress on that issue when we get to outcome two. Likewise, thank you.